English consonants are produced by using your tongue, teeth, lips, gums, nasal cavity, and glottis. There are two types of consonants. Consonants are either voiceless or voiced. Put your two fingers on your throat and say, ah. You should feel your vocal folds vibrating. That is what you will feel when a consonant is voiced. Now, with your two fingers on your throat, say, you should feel no vibration. That is the difference between a consonant that is voiced and a consonant that is voiceless. Voiced consonants have vibration of the vocal folds. Voiceless consonants do not. The first type of consonant sounds we will cover are bilabials. To produce bilabial consonants, you must bring your lips together. The first bilabial sound we will cover is b. To produce b, you must bring your lips together like this. B is special because sometimes it can be silent, especially when it's at the end of a word after the letter M. For example, the word comb, thumb. Other words include b, ball, bribe, abide, about, club, tub. The next sound is p. To produce p, you must bring your lips together just like b, but p is sometimes silent. We don't pronounce p when it begins a word and is followed by the letter s. For example, psychology, pseudonym, psychological. The p is also silent at the beginning of a word before the letter n. For example, pneumonia. Other examples of p are post, pat, apart, appeal, lip, strap. The next bilabial sound is mmm. Press your lips together like when you say mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's practice. Mother, member, amount, ample, ram, lamb. The next bilabial sound is w. To produce w, you must bring your lips together, but not press them. The w sound is unique because it can only happen in a word at the beginning or in the middle, but never at the end of a word. Even if a word ends with the letter w, we will not say the w sound. For example, the word low is spelled L-O-W, but we don't pronounce the letter W. We simply say low, L and O. The W sound is also silent when the W is at the beginning of a word followed by the letter R. For example, right, wrong, wrist, wrap. Other examples of W are waste, water, away, awake. The next type of consonant sounds are labiodental. They're produced by putting your upper teeth on your bottom lip and blowing air. The first labiodental sound is f. The letter F sounds like f. Put your upper teeth on your bottom lips and blow air. Your vocal folds will not vibrate. For example, feel flower, afloat, afar, leaf, belief. The next labiodental sound is v. The v sound is produced by putting your upper teeth on your bottom lip and blowing air, but this time your vocal folds will vibrate. For example, vest, veil, available, every, leave, believe. The next type of sounds are interdental. These consonants are produced by placing your tongue between your teeth. The letters T and H make two different sounds, th and th. The first interdental sound is voiceless, and it sounds like th. To produce th, place your tongue between your teeth and blow air. There will be no vibration of your vocal folds. For example, thin, thumb, Thief, wealthy, method, path, and growth. The vowel E is a very strong and controlling vowel. When E follows TH, it changes it from a voiceless to a voiced. In other words, 
The vowel E is so strong that it causes the vocal folds to vibrate when adding the letter E at the end of a word. Words like bath changes to bathe, breath changes to breathe, cloth changes to clothe. To produce the th sound, place the tongue between your teeth and blow air. Your vocal folds will vibrate. For example, the words the, them, that, this, father, other, brother, and bathe. The next type of consonant sounds are alveolar. To produce the alveolar sounds, place your tongue on your alveolar ridge. This is the wrinkled part of your gums that hold your upper teeth. You're going to press your tongue there and release with a burst of air to produce the sound t. You will not feel your vocal folds vibrate. T can be heard in words like top, teeth, until, interview, habit, repeat. To produce the next alveolar sound, d, the tip of your tongue needs to be firmly pressed against the gum ridge, which holds your upper teeth. Your vocal folds will vibrate during d. Words like dime, dinner, adorn, adore, odd, and blood all have the sound d. The next alveolar sound is s. To produce s, place your tongue near the gum ridge but not touching it. You will blow air continuously and your vocal folds will not vibrate. For example, snake, save, estate, Eskimo, flies, and cars. The next alveolar sound is z. Your tongue is going to be near the ridge, but it's not going to touch. There will be a continuous airflow, and your vocal folds will vibrate. For example, zebra, zoo, dizzy, puzzle breeze, and seize. The next alveolar sound is n. This sound takes place in the nasal cavity. The tongue is firmly pressed against the ridge inside of the mouth. There is air flowing through the nose. And your vocal folds will vibrate. For example, never, not, anytime, Anomaly, run, lean. Another alveolar sound is the letter L, or the sound O. The sound is produced by placing your tongue on the gums inside of your mouth and blowing air. You will feel the air coming out the sides of your tongue. For example, let, love, allow, elated, feel and cable. The next group of consonant sounds are produced by bringing your tongue closer to the hard palate. This is also called the roof of the mouth. The first sound is shh, and it sounds like if you're telling someone to be quiet, like shh. You will pucker your lips, bring the body of your tongue closer to the roof of your mouth, but you're not actually going to touch the roof of your mouth and you will blow air. Your vocal folds will not vibrate. Listen in the words sharp, chef, washer, tissue, social, and dish. The second sound is ch. This sound is quick and it sounds like if you sneezed. You will bring the tip of the body of your tongue to the roof of your mouth and blow air in a quick burst. Your vocal folds will not vibrate. Listen for the sound in words like cheer, chair, picture, butcher, peach, and touch. The third sound is zh. You will pucker your lips bring the body of the tongue closer to the roof of your mouth, but don't touch the roof of your mouth. And you will blow air just like you do for shh, but this time you will make your vocal folds vibrate. Zzz. This consonant is special 
because it does not happen at the beginning of any word in English. It only happens at the beginning or the end. For example, pleasure, decision, beige, and garage. The fourth sound is j. You will bring the tip and the body of your tongue to the roof of your mouth and blow a quick burst of air, just like you do for ch, but this time your vocal folds will vibrate. For example, jam, gem, jump, agent, enjoy. The fifth sound is yi. Your tongue is high, like the position for the vowel e, but your tongue is at the center of the mouth. The air is flowing without interruption. Your vocal folds will actually vibrate. The consonant is special because it does not happen at the end of any word. Listen. Yes. You. Universe. Beyond. Onion. And formula. Another sound is er. In several languages, the R is a strong sound, such as r, but in English, it is not so strong. To produce r, your tongue will be bent, pointing towards the roof of your mouth. Your vocal folds will vibrate, and you will produce a slow stream of airflow. Listen in the examples. Run, write, arrive, erect, star, and pear. The next group of consonant sounds are produced in the back of the mouth. The following three sounds, k, g, and ng, are all produced in the back of the mouth closest to the throat. These sounds happen when the body of the tongue moves towards the back of the mouth. To produce k, simply open your mouth slightly and move the body of your tongue backwards. Hold and release with a burst of air. Your vocal folds will not vibrate for this sound. For example, keep, cut, acorn, record, attack, wreck. To produce g, simply open your mouth slightly and move the body of your tongue towards the back of the mouth. Hold and release with a burst of air, but this time your vocal folds will vibrate. Listen to the examples. Goat, get, ago, August, rag, and fig. To produce the ng sound, open your mouth slightly, move the body of your tongue towards the back of the mouth. You will have air flowing through your nasal cavity and your vocal folds will vibrate. This sound is special because it does not begin any word in English. The ng sound happens when there is an N right before a letter K or a letter G. For example, ring, rang, angle, wrinkle, and shrink. The last consonant sound that we will discuss takes place in the throat, in the glottis area. To produce you simply open your mouth and let air pass through your glottis. This sound is special because it does not happen at the end of any word in English. For example, he, hero, hot, ahead, and behind.